Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use U.S. Major Dailies to get information about what's going on in Ukraine right now. So, if you'll start with me on the college's homepage, I'll click on Quick Links to get us to the library. Then I'll click the tab that says Research Databases because U.S. Major Dailies is one of our databases. I'll scroll down to the bottom of this alphabetical list and then I'll click on the name of the database. At this point, if you're at home doing this, you'll probably be asked for a username and password so you can log in, and you just use whatever username and password you use to get into Canvas. So, here I am at the database. I can start with a really simple search, a keyword search for Ukraine. And it's searching 21 major US newspapers right now. I get 106,000 results, and so what I want to do is limit my results, and the first thing I want to limit to is date. I'm interested in knowing what's going on right now, and the easy way to limit to date is to use this little slider button. So this is like, you know, the last four months. I want to get stuff that's really going on, and you can see how there was a lot in the news at this time, and then over time it went down, and now you can see like starting in you know, December and January of this year, there's a lot more information about Ukraine. So I have 3,596 results. Um, at this point, there's lots of different things I can do. I can limit the type of source. I can have it sorted by the most recent articles first. Right? Um, and I can add, you know, different search terms in. And so if you're not sure what other search terms you'd want to use, you can come down here and they'll give you some suggestions. So if you really want to learn more about the issues between the Ukraine and Russia, if I click here, it's going to launch a whole new search specializing in that, right? And I can decide I'm going to move it back to relevancy ranking. So let's say, for example, if this article looks interesting to me, I can click on the title. Um, I can see when it was published, so pretty recently. Um, I can then read the article right here and get the information that I want. And as you're reading, you'll start noticing that there's certain issues that keep coming up um, over and over again, you know, um, NATO, gas, sanctions. And so um, let's say this article is interesting for you. Um, you can download it as a PDF. You can email it to yourself. You can print it. Um, you can save it to all of these different um, places. And then what's really great is it'll even tell you how to cite it, right, in MLA, or you can change the citation style based on whatever your professor wants you to do. Um, but if you start gathering, you know, those other topics that are related to Ukraine, you could launch a whole new search. That could be really, really simple. Like, you know, Ukraine and NATO, right? And just like before, you would come in and you would, you know, limit to the dates and things like that. You know, Ukraine and Russia and NATO. Right? And so um, what that AND is doing is it's a computer command. It's telling the database, only bring me back articles that talk about Ukraine and Russia, and then in this case, and NATO. Right? So this is just one of the ways that um, this database can help you get some information about your topic that's timely. And just keep in mind, this is going to be from a um, U.S. perspective because these are um, American newspapers. However, if you look at who it's the author of what you're reading, you might end up getting the point of view of, you know, a former diplomat or someone from um, Ukraine or Russia. Um, just based on, you know, who's writing the article. So I hope that this helps you get a little more background information on your topic. But remember, if you need more information, if this isn't working for you, 
All you need to do is get to the Cerritos College Library homepage, right? And just click on this little chat widget right here, and a librarian will be able to help you get what you want right away. Good luck.